Hi, my name's Emil Cole and I'm a technical author here at Real VNC. With the VNC SDK, you can create viewer and server sample apps for any of our supported platforms. Users can then annotate, that is, draw lines on the surface of, the server device's screen, which looks like this. Annotations visible to all parties are particularly useful in IT support or customer care, where an expert viewer user may need to show a novice server user how to fix a problem or perform an operation. If multiple viewer users are connected to the same server, they can share notes and ideas. By default, each user is assigned a unique annotation color, ensuring no confusion when multiple people are connected. If the server user is present, they can even create annotations of their own. I'm now going to demonstrate a real-world use case for annotations. A user of an Android point of sale device has requested IT support, which we'll be providing. We're going to use the sample apps provided with the VNC SDK to annotate the screen of the Android device using a touchscreen Windows laptop. The laptop is running our Python-based Rich Viewer sample app, and the Android device is running our Android Server sample app. As soon as the devices connect, the server device's screen appears in our Viewer app window. The VNC SDK is view only on Android devices, meaning we can't remotely control it. But you can see that operations performed on the device itself are instantly transmitted to the viewer. As the connection is view only, and we want to show the Android user exactly where on their screen we should tap, we decide to point them in the right direction using annotations. Annotations can be toggled on and off in our sample app by clicking the annotation button once on the toolbar. You can also annotate at any time by holding down the control key, then clicking and dragging. These settings are entirely configurable via the Annotations API, which gives you full control over how and when you annotate. The VNC SDK will automatically choose an appropriate line color, thickness, duration, and fade time, but we provided APIs to query and change any of these characteristics allowing you to present an attractive user interface to your users. As an example, let's use our sample preferences menu to change our annotations to take much longer to fade. Now, let's imagine another viewer user connecting. Their own annotations will show up on every device. Notice that the VNC SDK automatically selects a new color for them, which doesn't clash with ours, making it clear to the Android user which one of us is sending what. It's also possible for the server app user to draw annotations of their own. Again, these annotations are visible to all connected viewers. The VNC SDK grants full access and control to the server app user over who has permissions to annotate and to clear some or all annotations at any time. When a viewer user disconnects, their annotations disappear. To try out annotations for yourself, Download the VNC SDK for free. Our overview, which we'll link below, is a great place to start. Thank you for watching.